Right, welcome back everyone. Time now is 7.45 and attention all pet owners. Today is the day to give your furry friend some extra love and attention. Not that we don't do that every day, but it is National Pet Day. The holiday was founded by animal welfare advocates back in 2005. While loving our pet is something that we do every day, today is a good time to get some things done, such as going through your pet's toys and getting rid of some of the ones that maybe are no longer safe. It's also a good time to make sure that your pet is up to date on all vaccinations. And finally, today also represents a time for maybe some non-pet odors or those looking to add another furry friend to the family uh, through pet adoptions. And for all of that, this morning we are joined right now by Dr. Mike Petty of Arbor Point Veterinary in Canton. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, first off, let's talk about people who are thinking about getting a pet for the first time. What do they need to know before taking one home. Okay, so, um, you know, you, you really need to look at the pet itself and see what kinds of things, uh, you know, you need to do. If you've never had a pet before, it's a good idea to talk to either the breeder you're, you're buying the pet from or your local pet store and try to get set up for it. All right, good advice. Okay, so when you're adopting a pet, how much time should you give to your pet to get adjusted to its new surroundings? Because I know that's a lot for a pet coming into a new environment like that. Yeah, exactly. You know, you have to look at where they're coming from and what kind of animals you may already have in your house. Uh, you know, have they ever been exposed to another cat, another dog, a dog that's much larger than themselves, or if it's an, if you're adopting an adult dog, uh, and you already have a little dog like a Chihuahua or Pomeranian, you know, how, how do they handle that? So, you know, you, you always want to approach it with caution, especially when you're bringing an adult dog into your home. You know, uh, the, the first introduction should really be, you know, with the both dogs on a leash to prevent, you know, any altercation and to see how things are going. Always give your cats a good place to hide. You know, cats feel more comfortable in a vertical world. So if they can get up high on something to get away, then there's less likely to be an issue. All right, great advice there. Okay, so I'm happy you mentioned about bringing a new addition in if you already have a pet, because a lot of times people like to have two pets. Uh, is there anything that you can do to your pet that you've already had to prepare that animal? Um, can you repeat that question, please? So if, you're ha if you already have, let's say, a cat or a dog and you're bringing in another cat or a dog, what about the pet that you've already had? How do you make sure that that pet is comfortable? Correct. And, you know, animals are incredibly territorial. And so you want to, if they have a favorite area, they have, you know, a cat that likes to sit you know, in a windowsill um, and that's its spot or a dog that has its favorite bed or couch or whatever, you want to really avoid the situation where the new animal thinks, oh, that's the place to be and it's gonna take it over. So it, it's a fine line though, because, you know, if you get too involved between the interactions, sometimes that pumps up the other one to say, oh, I'm the alpha and I'm gonna do whatever I can um, including maybe a bite or a scratch to, to protect that. So, you know, monitor the situation, use the leashes, and, uh, you know, try to support uh, an older animal in terms of what it considers its favorite spots. Awesome advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Mike, for being with us today. And um, I hope that uh, this advice has helped you at home if you do plan on adopting a new pet.